Adding a signature to your blog posts can make your blog more visually appealing and it also gives your readers a quick way to find important information about you and it's also another opportunity for you to link to your uh, newsletter sign up form or promote your service or a product or a course or anything else along those lines. So in today's post I want to show you how you can quickly add a block signature in Squarespace and I'll show you two ways to do it. So first of all, I'm here on my test website and the first thing that you can do is when you click on edit and then you click this pencil icon under the format section for each blog post, there's this little thing that you can click called show author profile. And when you click on it, Squarespace will actually show the information in your profile. As you can see right here, now it shows up on the blog post and you only need to take it off on one blog post and then it'll show up on every blog post that you have on your website. The way you edit this author profile, you click on your name here in your Squarespace dashboard and then you click here on your profile picture, profile, and this is where you can fill out your first name, last name, display name, your website and your bio. Now there's not a lot of formatting options here, but what you can do is you can add links. Oops. You can add links to this content and you can enter a brief blurb about you. When you're done, you can also upload a profile picture if you do not have one set up. And then when you click save, basically that profile information will show up on your blog posts. However, as you can see, it does not look very attractive. So what you can do is you can use the built-in blogs that Squarespace offers to create a more custom blog signature. And that is the second way that you can create blog signature. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to disable this author profile. And then what I recommend you do is to go to your blog page and then create a blog post template. So I'm just going to name this blog post template. And then we are going to say, now the reason I'm doing that is because if you add your blog signature, if I had just added it to this post, it would only be visible on this post. So if you want this to be visible on every single blog post that you publish from here on out, it's a good idea to create a blog post template and duplicate it every time you go to create a new blog post and then it'll show up for each new blog post. It's also a good idea to just create a blog post template with all the elements that you usually add to your blog, such as um, related posts or your email signup form or a featured image or anything else along the line along those lines that usually goes into your blog post. So I'm just going to pretend that this is my blog and then we are going to add our own custom blog post signature. So I'm going to add a line to separate the blog content and our signature. And then I'm going to add two spacer blocks and position them one next to another and I'm going to make one smaller. So underneath the smaller spacer block, I'm going to add an image and I'm going to select one from the library. And let's say this is the one we want. And you can even use the design options here to change the shape if you want. And then over on this side, I am going to add a text block and I'm going to say, hi, I'm Ashley, follow my blog for copywriting and business tips, get started with the free about page checklist, for example. Oops, like that. 
and I'm going to format the text and make it look pretty. And we're going to link this to our sign up page, like so. And then I'm also going to add a social block, social links block rather. And we're going to say Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And then under design, I'm going to align them to left. And we're just going to reduce that size just a little bit. Of course, you can also move it under your profile picture if you so desire, or just leave it here under the text, however you want to style this. And then after this, I'm going to add another line. And then we can get rid of these spacers. And now you have a custom blog post signature. Now, again, remember, this is something that you are going to need to add to every blog post. So if you're just getting started with your blog, then create a blog post template just to make sure that it's in there for every new blog post that you create. Otherwise, you can go back through your old blog posts and add them in the same way you we have added them here. So that is another way that you can create a blog post signature with Squarespace. And you're free to add any type of content that you want here. Uh, my recommendation is just a simple image block with a text block and, event, and um, maybe possibly your social links if you want to build your social media following. So that basically sums it all up. And if you want to learn more about how to blog with Squarespace, I have a detailed video tutorial that you can watch next. That's it for this week and I'll see you next time. Bye.